5 Types of Bad Luck Plans to be Avoided at Home While Feng Shui is an ancient Chinese practice, there is a growing body of scientific research on the benefits of plants in indoor environments. Plants are known to purify the air and improve indoor air quality by removing harmful volatile organic compounds box, emitted from various household products and materials. In addition, plants can also increase humidity levels and reduce noise pollution, contributing to a healthier and more comfortable living space. A study conducted by NASA found that certain indoor plants can remove up to 87% of toxins from the air in just 24 hours, making them effective natural air purifiers. Some of these plants include spider plant, Chlorophytum comosum, peace lily, Spathophyllum wallacei, and bamboo palm, Chamaderia cyphrisii. However, it is important to note that some plants can also emit harmful substances such as allergens or toxins. Especially if they are not properly cared for or if they are toxic to pets or humans if ingested. For example, the peace lily, while known for its air purifying properties, is toxic to cats and dogs if ingested. It is crucial to research and select safe plants for your home, and to properly care for them to ensure their health and well-being. In conclusion, while there may be certain plants that are considered bad luck in Feng Shui, it is important to consider the scientific benefits of plants in indoor environments and select plants that are safe and beneficial for your home. Proper care and maintenance of indoor plants can contribute to a healthier and more positive living space. 1. Plant with spiky thorns or pointy leaves. According to Feng Shui principles, plants with sharp, spiky thorns or pointy leaves are believed to create negative energy or Sha Qi. This negative energy can disrupt the flow of positive energy or qi in a space, leading to feelings of discomfort, anxiety, and even illness. In addition, these types of plants can pose a safety hazard in homes with small children or pets who may accidentally touch or prick themselves on the sharp thorns. 2. Creepers and Climbing Plants While plants that climb or vine up walls can be visually appealing, they can also block natural light from entering a space, which can negatively affect the energy flow. Additionally, if the plants are not regularly trimmed or maintained, they can become overgrown and take over a room, leading to a feeling of clutter and chaos. 3. Dying and Withering Plants Feng Shui principles stress the importance of maintaining a healthy and vibrant environment, and dying or withering plants are believed to create negative energy in space. They can also be unsightly and create a feeling of neglect or apathy in a home. 4. Fake and Artificial Plants While artificial plants may seem like a low-maintenance option for adding greenery to a space, they are believed to have negative energy in Feng Shui. Artificial plants are viewed as dead objects that do not contribute to the flow of positive energy in a space. They can also accumulate dust and dirt, which can negatively impact the energy flow. 5. Poisonous Plants Many plants are known to be toxic or poisonous, and it is important to avoid these plants in a home environment. Some common examples of poisonous plants include oleander, hemlock, and poinsettias. These plants can cause serious harm or even death if ingested, and their negative energy can also negatively impact the overall energy flow in a space. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, share and follow us for more.